Bitch, you make they me call curl. me Superman. Deep tall hoes in a single bound. I'm single now. Got no ring on his finger now. I never let another chick bring me down in a relationship. This is Alex in this video. I'm going to be explaining to you guys a new way to edit your scripts that's a lot easier. It's a lot more fluent. It's a lot more easier to understand. It just makes everything easier, all right? So we named it Easy E for Easy Edit. <laughs> you see what I did there? All right. <laughs> so this is my normal script, all right? Well, not my normal script. I, like, deleted all my paste and everything. This is, like, my NTO, all right? So this is my first one. This this right here, this is my um, robot tap backslash hover note tap, whatever you want to call it. I use hover note, so... That's why the sleep is so high because it's in the top left. The next one in my order is bid fail. All right. And then this is my normal script right here. All right. I have my buy now, buy now, buy now. And then I have a refresh. So it's nice and smooth. All right. And then I have my NTO bar, you know, whatever. So right now I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to like know what's what. And like, it's like I'm making this tutorial out of like a Lamp Daddy tutorial. If you guys don't know what Lamp Daddy is. I mean, you should. <laughs> um, if you don't search up speech, your life on YouTube, you'll find him. I will put him in my um, recommended channels pretty soon. When I remember, I always forget. So, yeah, he has some really good tutorials, but they're not the easiest to understand for people. Like, he talks um, so, like, good about it, right? Like, he knows everything. So, but a lot of people don't know what he's talking about in the first place, you know? So... What you could do to separate this, if you do not remember that this is your hover note tat, you could do slash slash space hover note hover note oh my god I can't spell today hover note tat right and then right here would be your bid failed so you're gonna slash slash bid failed all right this won't matter to your script at all all right so. And then the next one, right here, I'd put slash slash script, all right? Script. Yes. So if you guys are not, like, one of the great botters out there, like Alex Ellis, Trump Assassins, um, Hockey, of course, you cannot forget him, Goat Snipers, Caden, you know, people like that. If you're not one of them, you're going to be editing your script commonly over and over again. Because nobody's ever settled on a script, unless your name is basically Hockey. Because his things are perfect. There's nothing wrong with his scripts at all. I wish one day he would post a live. There's something fishy about him, which he won't post a live. I don't understand, but I hope one day he does. I really want to understand what his trick is. But I think it's just early drops, or he has some hookup with EA, or something like that. So, now I'm going to be explaining variables as we got that, okay? So, as your hover notes tap. You would do a hashtag hover, right? Or whatever you could remember, okay? So if you want to know what that, you if you want to change that, you go right here at the before start and after your device screen size area. You'd say var hashtag, which var stands for variable, hover, all right? And you have to get the capitals right and the spelling right, okay? So... If I want to put my hover note tap, it'd be the 22, right? Which, if you only paste your hover note tap one time at the beginning of your script, this wouldn't matter to anything at all, really. But here would be my bid field, so I would put hashtag bid. Oh my god. You'd put hashtag bid failed, so then you'd go up here, space again, var, hashtag bid failed all right the capital and the spelling has to be right there cannot be one error at all one difference no nothing all right and now this is what the part that would that would really save you time right unless your script is coded um so someone coded one of my other scripts so i don't know if they if they want me to say their name because i i think they would get spam dms on how to but i mean i could add a segment in the video uh, telling who did it if he wants me to so if you watch this video and you want me to tell people that you did it and you charge you know whatever let me know i'll do it it's not hard so it depends on what type of buy now is you have right if you have a consistent buy now that goes through your script um that wouldn't happen but i know bots that people like uh zeke Tariq, um uh ron.mobile i think they worked on a bot if if they didn't lie, they worked on a bot 
and then let it out, which obviously it isn't going to be their best because they're not going to let that their best out. But they had different by now sleeps, and let's say their by now sleep was like 16, right? They would have their by now 16. Their touch up would be negative 16, but I'll talk about that in a later video. I've never noticed a difference with it, but you know whatever. So now that we have the sleep by now, it depends if you have three straight. So I don't. So I'm gonna put hashtag BN2. But if you have three straight, you're gonna put hashtag BN for all three. But I don't. So the next one you're gonna put hashtag BN3. Okay? And now here's your refresh, okay? Hashtag refresh. And then you just want to space. If you if you do have two sleeps, I'm assuming that you guys do. In my NTO, I do not have two sleeps, but I'm assuming you guys do, so you know I'm just gonna add it. You put something like refresh two. Alright? So now we gotta go add this. We have buy now one to three, and then refresh one and two. Okay? So you're, we're gonna space out a lot of times. So var hashtag um BN var oops var hashtag bn3 i mean 2 var hashtag bn3 var hashtag refresh and then var hashtag refresh um 2 all right, guys, so now that you have that, you basically, the, now I'm basically just going to explain to you guys why it's easier, how it's easier, you know, whatever. So you have your script, okay? Here's my script right here. Hold on. Let me just have it. Or, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to make the video too long, but assume you have your script pasted like 20 times, right? You don't want to delete your script 19 times so you could edit it that one time and then, you know, you have to repaste over and over. But now that you have something like this, which I, I, I didn't save that part right there, but you know, whatever, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be using this one. I have a complete duplicate of this one up higher, so you know, whatever. So, um, right here, you, you just edit your buy now. If your buy now was 45 before, or you know, whatever I just put in C, you just put like, change it, bam, you know you're good. You don't have to delete, you know, whatever. This will save you time so you know you could have that extra round of sniping, extra coins, you know. You know, stuff easy like that. So, um, yeah, guys, this has been the video on how to make a, um, how to edit your body easier. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it because I already made a video on how to make your, how to edit your bot easier, but it wasn't really that good. So, you know, I'm trying to make my content better as I go on. A few of my videos have been duplicate uploads like my OVN, but it's all goes on with the improvement of my channel, which is with the improvement of my videos trying to make them better, easier to understand, because, you know, I'm learning how to use iMovie. Within the next week, I should be able to edit out me stuttering, like when I stutter out in the beginning of the video, like right now, because I just forgot what I said. Like, right now, I just forgot what I said, right? You guys wouldn't have to wait that time to see what I'm going to say and stuff like that. You, I would edit that out, you know, smooth video would be shorter, you know, wouldn't take up as much time of, of your day, but, you know, People have commented on my videos, botting takes too long, your videos are too long. I'm sorry, but botting isn't easy. You're not, it's not just going to come to you. you got to work for it, you know, whatever. And I just, realized, I just realized my mouse key has been in the middle of the video in all my videos, which I will definitely take that out. Um, I, I keep, I forget to do that, like move it out of the way, which is all my fault. I will definitely remember to start doing that because it looks really stupid, but it doesn't block anything in this video, so I'm not going to have to re-record this one. Finally, I don't have to re-record a video like three times at least. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped, please leave a like, and I'm off for saves, you guys. Peace.